Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Trigger PH, and uh, my team beat the Kings Fall Killing Oryx. We beat the raid, so uh, I'm hoping that this video is going to help you guys out beating the raid as well. So, uh, this is the video clip of where we beat it, and then I'm just going to talk over it, and hopefully, I can explain, help you guys out. This is our strategy, and well, I think it's a really good strategy. So, here we go. You got six people on your raid team, you got to pick positions for each guy. Two guys are going to be kind of killing the ogres. One's going to be on top of what platforms. You will see him. What he does is snipe the ogres because sniping does a lot of damage and crit spots. Helps out a lot. One guy is going to be running around with a sword or a sniper down low helping out with the ogres as well. And then you're going to have a relic runner, which is Tony in this video. And then you're going to have three people doing the platforms. And so wherever the relic spawns, because it can be different each time, Wherever the relic spawns, it goes counterclockwise, the order that you have to step on the portals. So this is my portal. Dreamer's right there to the left. You get Snorm in the middle. And then, see the relic is over there, top right. So Tony and EJ are going to hop on that portal over there. And once they get on that one, Dream's going on that one, then I go on this one. It's got to be in that order. It goes counterclockwise. And you got to jump on in order. Like, if I were to jump on before EJ, then it wouldn't work. And so once we are all on the portal, Tony runs up and uh, he jumps on those shadow steps above and grabs the relic while we stay on the porter portal. If we jump or leave the portal at all, the shadow steps will break and then he will fall and won't be able to get the portal. And then once, you, uh, once he says he got the relic, everyone's going to run to the middle. He's going to do a relic smash on the knight right here because you have to kill this knight. The relic smash will take out his shield. And then you kill the knight, and then you guys are all going to do as much damage as fast as possible to Oryx right here because he needs to flinch like that. Once he flinches, everyone's going to have their designated spot. There's four different bombs like this. So we have our designated spot no matter what portal we get because sometimes you'll have to switch like I'll show you guys a little later. You're going to run back to that portal. Everyone's going to say when they're there, and then at the same time you guys step in there you need all four bombs to detonate, so in the bottom left corner, you're going to see everyone's name pop up. Once you see your name pop up, that's when you start running back to the relic shield, because if you get in there, then the bombs won't kill you. And those are pretty much what do the most damage to Oryx. Yeah, so once you get those bombs to detonate, you can shoot Oryx a little bit more, and then once you can stop shooting Oryx and he like falls down, you gotta run around your platform, you need a designated area because this is like a mortar strike. And so you run around your platform and then Tony I believe is running in the middle right there. Yeah, he was running in that middle section right there and then you have three people on the opposite side of the map. You don't want to cross paths because if you cross paths then the other person's mortar can kill you. And now we're on round two. So you're pretty much going to do the same thing as before. You see the relic over there. So this is going to be the first stage that jumps on the portal because it's to the left counterclockwise. Once they're on, I hop on, and then EJ is going to hop on on the right. Kill the ogres while Tony, the relic guy, he's going to jump on those shadow steps. He's going to go pick up that relic once again. Once he gets that relic, we're all going to rush middle. And it really helps that uh, you have some weapons of light in the middle as well. Because, you know, it just helps on that damage output. You need that DPS damage per second just to make sure you get that flinch. So this time, I was uh, the in charge of the Weapons of Light. And we got that Titan Smash from the Relic on that uh, Knight right there to get it down. And now he's in the back. He moves to the back on this, uh, this stage. And so, you all get ready. You're going to do that damage output again. Make sure you get him to flinch. And once you see that flinch, then you're good to go. Run back to your bombs again. And then everyone's going to be like, all right, I'm ready. Just because you need this timing, go in there. And then uh, once you see everyone's name pop up on the bottom left, you know you're good to go. You're going to run back to the middle. And if you do these two stages correct, get four bombs each time and do half of his health, take away half of his health, instead of getting those mortar strikes again, you're going to get the Echo of Oryx that you have to kill, and you'll get teleported into like this shadow dimension. You'll see him spawn like the big orb in the middle right over here. And uh, I don't think I got teleported this time, but make sure everyone is alive right here because he teleports five people and leaves one out. 
Uh, I'm not sure if you have five people alive, if you'll just teleport four, but it's nice to have everybody alive. So we were able to pick him up before uh, everyone got teleported. And you can see that shadow orb over there. That is where you will fight the Echo of Orcs in there. Make sure you kill the Echo in a fast amount of time because they will. she will spawn something called like a Dixology. And once she does that, she pretty much kills you. And, uh, well, you lose. And that happened to us uh, once or twice. So just make sure you kill the Echo fast enough. That way that doesn't happen. I suggest sniper headshots and uh, use like heavy machine or rockets because... Those will just do the most damage. Don't use your super on it because that doesn't do as much damage as a sniper would. And so my, I didn't get teleported in, but that person outside needs to stay alive. If I were to die while they were all inside, then that would have ruined everything as well and we would have lost. And so they were able to kill the echo fast enough and now we are at half health. And so now we do that echo. No, not the echo. And now we do that relic stage again. It's over there top right. So they hopped over there and that, that left side. And then Dream right next to me, he's going to hop on. And I hopped on. You kill the ogres once again. And uh, remember that guy that's sniping up top needs to pretty much help snipe every ogre. And then the other runner down below needs to help kill all the ogres as well, which is Booty. He's running back and forth helping kill those ogres. And so once uh, Tony got the relic, he tells everybody, I got the relic. And that's when you can hop off your platform and meet middle get that weapons of light if you guys have it it really helps and then uh tethers also help and also golden guns with the celestial nighthawk deal a lot of damage to crota uh, orcs right here you can slay them and so once you get that flinch you run back to your designated bomb and call out that uh you're here just to get that timing perfect and uh yeah so now on this stage i think you're gonna have to fight the echo of orcs again so make sure you guys are all alive once again. Deal damage right here after those bombs get detonated just to do that little extra damage that can help later on. And so that is the third round of doing the relic and doing the bombs. And so we will see because I think it's going to be the Echo of Oryx once again. So you're going to have to kill the Echo twice. So just make sure, yeah, it is the Echo. Just make sure that you guys have the ammo you need. You have time to pop a... Uh, special weapon synth or heavy ammo synth right then right as you kill the bombs because ads will despawn and so this is what it looks like on the inside uh, it's gonna be like a shadowy fog it's kinda like that mission where you kill Oryx and he comes in and will, he will smash you with the sword he's kinda the same same idea right here just uh, someone pop the weapons of light on the inside because that really does help uh, make sure you can die on the inside because you can get revived on the outside just a person on the outside can't die, but you gotta kill. Uh, you gotta kill the echo fast enough before the Dixology uh, thing kills you. And we might even get that Dixology thing. So I mean, we might. I'm not positive because it might say it on that bottom left. But yeah, so snipers do a lot of damage. No, we can. Oh yeah, there it is. I saw it for a second. But yeah, sniper headshots do. I would say the most damage, and then uh, your heavy weapons and grenades do decent damage as well. But once you kill or uh, Echo for that second time, then you got to do one more relic run. Um, yeah, so since the relic was on my platform, I run over here. If you're re the relic is on your platform, you run to wherever there is an open platform because there's always going to be one open platform. So since it was on mine, I ran over to this one. That way I could hop on this platform and have that person there because you only need three people on the platforms. No one needs to be on the relic platform because the person who's running to get the relic pretty much will spawn that one. The only reason someone is on that one is to build a bridge back to the first platform that he jumped from. So, yeah, you don't need someone on the relic platform. You only need three people on platforms at all time. So once he gets that relic, you go and you kill the knight once again. And then you're going to do the damage output to or Crota. God, why am I keep saying Crota? Oryx once again make sure you get him to flinch we got him to flinch and then you're gonna run back and do the bombs one last time when this everybody is there you're gonna say go and then uh, get all those bombs to spawn it's a uh, really important that you get all four bombs to spawn each time or to detonate that way you do a lot of damage and right here the last round you just do as much damage to Oryx as you can as you can see his health is very low 
you don't kill him right here, it's okay, because he will come up to the front. And so I popped the Weapons of Light for uh, for right now, even though it ran out on my screen. But uh, yeah, so he's going to spawn right here, and this is where you just uh, finish him off. And so once you put enough damage into him, you will kill him, and you have killed orcs, and you have beat the raid. And so I just want to clarify once again, guys, um, everyone's going to have like their designated bomb spot. You're going to have three people on the portals at all time, plus the relic guy, the platforms, I mean. And so you're going to have your designated platform, and if the relic is on yours, you're going to run to the platform where usually Tony is going to be jumping from, or your relic guy. If not, um, you just run to the open platform that doesn't have a relic or someone on the platform, because you only need three people on the platform. So uh, hopefully this video helps you guys out. It's a really solid strategy, and we were able to beat it fairly quickly because uh, you know I just learned it and uh, I got picked it up pretty quickly and we, we beat it it was pretty solid we we knew what we were doing and that's just a little practice practice makes perfect not really perfect practice per perfect practice makes perfect anyways guys yeah good luck uh, very fun raid hopefully you guys can uh, figure it out we were all 294 light 295 light and 296 light so uh, that does help a little bit and uh, hopefully you guys get some good weapons. I got the pulse rifle and the hand cannon and the shotgun from killing the uh, the witches and killing Oryx. So, yep, don't forget to subscribe, everybody, and I'll catch you guys all later on my next video. Peace out and good luck.